Make this Thursday, 31st of March, 2022, your day of salvation on the African Revival Channel on this link. On Facebook, at these times, 6 p.m. Central African Time, Johannesburg, Harare, 4 p.m. British Standard Time, London, 3 a.m. AEDT, Melbourne, Australia, 12 p.m. Eastern New York. Here, Andrew Taunashe, a man of God who has helped thousands around the world come to their own day of salvation through his anointed preaching of the old time gospel of Jesus Christ. It's time for your own personal experience of the power, love, and reality of Jesus Christ. The saving and life changing power of Christ is real. The healing and delivering power of Christ is real. The Lord says, Behold, now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Pass this link to as many people as you can. Help them to experience their own day of salvation. For inquiries, plus 263-772-325-797. Email awwwitness at icloud.com. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Allow me to welcome you this day to this, the worldwide family of God, Monday leaders prayer meeting. And I want to welcome you from all over the world, in Australia, in New Zealand, in every nation in the far east in Europe, in the Americas and all over Africa, as we're gathered for this time of consecration and for this time of prayer. As we always know and understand that leadership is a matter of the heart. It is your nature. It is in you that you want to work for God with all your strength, with all your might. And you're doing it in such a way that it is so exemplary that others want to follow as well. So there's a prayer meeting for everyone. That is our heart for the work of God. As we are preparing for so many things that God wants to do for us as God's people. First of all, on the 31st of March, for the great day of salvation, as we have heard, where we are coming together on this grand finale and where we are also gathering as we come before the table of the Lord. And we're also preparing ourselves for the 10th of April for the day of tabernacles. The Lord is tabernacling with us once again and he's causing us to gather from all over the world that we may be together once again for this day of tabernacles. And we're also preparing our hearts and mind for the preaching of the cross. For that great convention where we shall gather from all over the world at the Araya International Conference Center and we shall be together from the 14th of April together with God's servant for that powerful word of the preaching of the the cross. So likewise, as we come to pray, as we prepare our hearts, we are operating now as we understand from that powerful service in the language of power. The book of Romans chapter 8 verse 26 tells us, likewise, the spirit also helps our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the spirit itself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered, and he who searches the hearts knows the, what is the mind of the Spirit because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. The Bible tell us, tells us that maybe, we, it doesn't tell us that maybe we don't know how we ought to pray. It tells us that we actually do not know how we ought to pray. Why? Because there's a language we need to operate in as we are taught by the men of God. It is the language of power. That is a function of the Holy Spirit. So as we come to, to pray, let's just invite the Holy Spirit. Invite his power and his anointing upon your life. Tell the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, begin to lead us that we may pray accurately. You are the one who knows how we ought to pray. You are the one who will lead us to the pleasant places and to the high mountains of the power of God. You are the one who unveils the glory, the majesty, and the beauty of God. Holy Spirit, begin to help us. We are weak. We don't know how we ought to pray.
to prayer. Let us gather to pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for being with us and for empowering us with the language of power. Oh, come on, let's clap our hands. Let's bless him as we welcome our worship team. Make this Thursday, 31st of March, 2022, your day of salvation on the African Revival Channel on this link. On Facebook. At these times, 6 p.m. Central African Time, Johannesburg, Harare. 4 p.m. British Standard Time, London. 3 a.m. AEDT, Melbourne, Australia. 12 p.m. Eastern New York. Hear Andrew Taunashe, a man of God who has helped thousands around the world come to their own day of salvation through his anointed preaching of the old time gospel of Jesus Christ. It's time for your own personal experience of the power, love and reality of Jesus Christ. The saving and life changing power of Christ is real. The healing and delivering power of Christ is real. The Lord says, Behold, now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Pass this link to as many people as you can. Help them to experience their own day of salvation. For inquiries, plus 263-772-325-797. Email awwwitness at icloud.com. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom. Our Father, our Father. Yeah. 
Father, our Lord, be thy name, Lord. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be glorified. And let your kingdom come, Lord. Let your will be done. Make this Thursday, 31st of March, 2022, your day of salvation. On the African Revival Channel, on this link. On Facebook. At these times, 6 p.m. Central African Time, Johannesburg, Harare, 4 p.m. British Standard Time, London, 3 a.m. AEDT, Melbourne, Australia, 12 p.m. Eastern New York. Here, Andrew Taunashe, a man of God who has helped thousands around the world come to their own day of salvation through his anointed preaching of the old time gospel of Jesus Christ. It's time for your own personal experience of the power, love and reality of Jesus Christ. The saving and life changing power of Christ is real. The healing and delivering power of Christ is real. The Lord says, Behold, now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Pass this link to as many people as you can. Help them to experience their own day of salvation. For inquiries, plus 263-772-325-797. Email awwwitness at icloud.com. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, forever. Hallelujah. Welcome to the Andrew Tawanasha World Witness and Worldwide Family of God Church on our Monday leaders and prayer meeting where we are actually, you know, moving towards the day of tabernacles. Hallelujah. It's near approaching. It was a year ago when this announcement was made that we are going to have the day of tabernacles. Hallelujah. Because they shall be a tabernacle. Hallelujah. It shall be established. It's a time of establishment after the time of COVID-19 has tried to destabilize the house of God. It's time again that we go to the house of the Lord, establish it again, and make sure that our establishment list, as we were been working on the established list, what is it that must appear? Must appear. It shall come to pass in the last day that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be ex established on top of the mountains. Hallelujah. The house of the Lord is not something that must be hidden, but that must be significant and everything very clear. And that is where we are traveling to, the day of tabernacle 10th of april is our day of tabernacle hallelujah and this monday is one of the last mondays where we can prepare where we can cause that everything the ditches that must be dug should be there the valleys should be there everything must be in place so that the house of god may begin in glory as we march forward living away, away this covert era hallelujah can we just declare and say they shall be a tabernacle and they shall be a tabernacle. I just want you to raise up your hands to God and just thank God that you are part of the tabernacle and that also you are part of the builders of the tabernacle. You are important to the tabernacle. As a leader, you are a container of the things that must happen in the tabernacle. You are very instrumental. Dedicate yourself that as the tabernacle is going to be rising from the day of tabernacle where we are not going to be only in the live stream, but we will be in the churches. You are going to be very instrumental. Dedicate yourself. You will play your part. I will play my part. We must play our part. Father, we thank you. We worship you, Lord. We give you praise. 
Thank you for the day of tabernacles. You have said it. You have spoken it, Lord. You have declared it, O oh God. And Father, you are faithful, O oh God. You are faithful, O oh God, through the mouth of your servant, O oh my God, that we are come to this day, O oh my Father. There shall be a rise of a tabernacle of a people prepared for the Lord, O oh God. And Father, we are, are, are avail ourselves, Lord. Yes, Lord, we greet it from afar, Lord. We see the good days. We see the good things, Lord. We see the glory that shall be revealed, the establishment, Lord. Yes, the exaltation of the house of God. It shall not be hidden, Lord. It shall be a city on a hill where all men shall see and come to it, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's take our seats and go to the book of Hebrews chapter 10. For the law having a shadow of good things to come and not the very image of the things can never with those sacrifices which they offered year by year continually make the comers there unto perfect. For then would they not have ceased to be offered because that the worshippers once perished should have had no more conscience of sins. But in those sacrifices there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. Wherefore, then he cometh unto the world, he says sacrifice and offerings, thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast no pleasure. Then said I, Lord, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me, to do your will, O oh God. Above when he said, sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings and offering for sin thou wouldst not, neither had pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Then said he, Lo, I come to do your will, O oh God. He taketh away the first and he, that he may establish the second. By the which we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. From henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. Verse 14, for by one offering he has perfected forever them that are sanctified, whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us, for after he had said before, this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws into their hearts and their minds will I write, and in their minds will I write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Now when remission of this is, there is no more offering for sin. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he has consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say his flesh. And having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw nigh with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and unto good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. For if we sin willingly flee, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no sacrifice for sin. But a certain fearful looking of judgment and fiery indignation we shall devour the adversaries. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much surer punishment suppose ye shall he be with thought worthy who has trodden under the foot of the Son of God and has counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified as an holy thing and has done despite unto the spirit of grace. For we know him that has said, Vengeance belongs unto me, I will recompense, says the Lord, and again the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, but to call 
to remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated, you endured a great fight of afflictions, partly whilst you were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly while you became companions of them that were so used. For he had compassion of, of me in my bonds and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourselves that you have in heaven a better and an endurance substance. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. For you have need of patience that after you have done the will of God, you might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and ye shall come, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draws back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them that draws back unto perdition, but of them that believeth to the saving of the soul. Hallelujah. Let's stand up on our feet. Oh, come, let us adore him.
Christ came that there may be a gathering. He died on the cross that there may be gatherings of nations, of people, of languages, of tongues, and of all sorts, multitudes and multitudes that must come to him. Hallelujah. That was the purpose of his death, was to draw those who were separated, that were those who were far away from God, but that we, he may gather the family of God here on earth and also in heaven. Hallelujah. So while we are here on earth, the will of God and the purpose of God is that we may be gathered together. Hallelujah. That's why the word of God says that we may not forsake the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is. Hallelujah. We are getting back to that time what, of what Jesus really died for was that we may gather and we may become the church and we may do the things of God here alive on earth together. Hallelujah. And that's why the day of tabernacle is very, very important and that all of us, we may take conscious of it and we may establish the house of God and we may cause the things that must be to be there because we must start to gather in real ways, in numbers and in all sorts of ways. Hallelujah. Let's say there shall be a tabernacle. And they shall be a tabernacle. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul says, by the grace of God that was given to me, I am the master builder so that everyone may build upon the foundation that I have laid and that everyone, man, may take care of what type of work they are doing as they build. Hallelujah. Amen. The servant of God, the apostle, is that foundation on which we are building. As he has called us that last year, uh, around this time, it's like almost one year full that they shall be a tabernacle. Hallelujah. And we must begin to establish the house of God and it must be clearly seen. There must be places, there must be addresses, there must be things and stakes and, 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 and ditches that are dug and a preparation and Monday meeting since then changed to a place where we share it with him. We, as the servants of God in the local uh, churches are gathering with the leaders and planning about this day and about the coming together of God's people again in the tabernacle. Hallelujah. And we want to receive him again to further instruct us as that foundation that is laid that no man can lay except Christ. Let us receive prophet and apostle Andrew Taunashe as we clap our hands. Hallelujah. Make this Thursday, 31st of March, 2022, your day of salvation on the African Revival Channel on this link. On Facebook. At these times, 6 p.m. Central African Time, Johannesburg, Harare, 4 p.m. British Standard Time, London, 3 a.m. AEDT, Melbourne, Australia, 12 p.m. Eastern New York. Here, Andrew Taunashe, a man of God who has helped thousands around the world come to their own day of salvation through his anointed preaching of the old time gospel of Jesus Christ. It's time for your own personal experience of the power, love and reality of Jesus Christ. The saving and life changing power of Christ is real. The healing and delivering power of Christ is real. The Lord says, Behold, now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Pass this link to as many people as you can. Help them to experience their own day of salvation. For inquiries, plus 263-772-325-797. Email awwwitness at icloud.com. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Be seated. Come on, clap your hands and say thank you, Jesus. It's Monday, it's again our meeting. We normally call it the leaders' meeting, but no more. Hallelujah. 
is for everyone that loves God, loves to build this revival. Do you love to build this revival? Yeah. Say hallelujah. And as I've always told you, a leader is not a title. It's just anyone who is so excited and zealous and given to doing the work of God that others look at you and say, hey, this is important. Let us follow and do it also. Say hallelujah. So you are a leader, every one of us in the revival. The revival is too, too small. Hallelujah. For us to say, oh yeah, we have got these leaders. Everyone is a leader. Come on, say to your neighbor, hey, you're over there. You are a leader. Be a light and do this work in such a way that others will look at you and they will adore it and they will want to do it too. Say hallelujah. You know, uh, the bishop has read us one of the most fascinating, important, and powerful verses in the Bible, Hebrews chapter 10. Say hallelujah. Oh, it's one of those books I love. But in Hebrews 10, not only do we hear about Jesus, our high priest and our savior, hallelujah. And uh, not only are we aged to continue in the Lord, praise God, but the center of it is also a scripture that says, let's say together, let us encourage one another. Provoke one another unto good works. Say, don't forget and don't neglect. Assembly together with others, as some people do. But let us gather together all the more as we see the days, the Lord, the days, the, the, the Lord. I say, all the more as we see the day of the Lord approaching. Oh, let's clap our hands to the Lord. Oh, God, we can do better than that. Praise God. You can, get, you can, you can clap better than my stammering. Come on, clap your hands in the name of Jesus. Say hallelujah. Praise God. You know, I want us to just look in this short time and then we will gather with our leaders where we are, pastors, servants of God. Take it seriously that after we've prayed with the apostle today, you gather with your people and you speak about the things of the local church, praise God, and get yourself ready for the, the day of tabernacles. But today we are talking about two gatherings. Hallelujah. Very important. Number one, first will come the day of tabernacles. Praise God. In fact, maybe before I even go there, first will come the day of salvation. Say hallelujah. Praise God. I call it the grand finale. Amen of the month of engagement, the month of March. Hey, I hope you are still keeping your diaries. Say hallelujah. So we can see where they have been engaging people. Say hallelujah. But, you see, as far as our together, contacting people, organizing places where we can watch and or participate in the service of the preaching of the gospel together. Hallelujah. And uh, sending links to others to be on it on Facebook, and on YouTube, as far as all that is concerned, praise God, this week do it with great passion, hallelujah, with great fervency, and we'll pray again on Wednesday, let's fast, let's pray, because this Thursday, 31st of March 2022 is our grand finale for the month of March, which is the month of, what is the month of what? The month of successful engagements, fruitful engagements. In fact, raise your hands a few moments and just thank God for everyone that has been saved as we engage. Come on, come on, tell the Lord, thank you. Tell him thank you for the salvation, thank you for the healings, thank you for the deliverances, and thank you for the people you have touched, my Father, because we engaged them, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the grace and the way you have answered us and helped us. In Jesus' name. Come on, tell him, continue this Thursday, oh God, thy loving kindness. And oh God, continue to draw and give us a harvest that many may come to you, Lord. Uh, come on, clap your hands unto the Lord. <laughs> Say hallelujah. But after that Thursday, we'll come to a very special Sunday service. But after that Sunday service, say hallelujah. There is a special one even we should pre prepare for, for the 10th of April. The 10th of April is the, yes. 
the day of tabernacles. Long have I talked about it. Praise God. This COVID season has been a great shaking around the world. Praise God. And even churches have been closed. All sorts of things. You cannot come together. And uh, we have God, God showed us exactly what he's doing around the world. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. It has also been a season a time of great testing. Great water. In the church, one of the things that have been tested is your commitment. Praise God. Were you following Jesus only because there was a crowd around you and you were being watched? Or were you following him because you love him? Say hallelujah. And you are committed. Praise God. And so we spent the past couple of years having church online. Hallelujah. Where nobody can look at you and check whether you were there or not. Praise God. But I know the children of God were there. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands for yourself if you were there. And we have seen God speak to us, lead us, and wake among us. And uh, give us this prophetic word much more than we have seen in the past. Praise God. Because you see, when the trouble abounds, grace will also abound. In fact, let's pause a moment. Let's just say to the Lord, thank you for the way you've led us through the years of COVID. Come on, come on, speak like that. Tell him, thank you for the word you have given us, the way you've spoken to us, the way you've protected us, and the way, oh God, you've also kept your house alive, Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Just there was a devil, uh, say in the name of Jesus. Tell him, stay on your side of the line. But as you heard, the bishop say, throughout the period of almost a year, I've been telling you, hey, the day is going to come soon. Amen. Amen. And uh, there's a little bit of manifestation of the words of Jesus. Hallelujah. Or the, or the words of uh, is it Paul. Amen. Or Peter who says, uh, 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 you know, a year with the Lord is just like a hundred or a thousand. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. You know, God says it's going to come. And the reading said, he that shall come, shall come. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. And while he's coming, the just shall live by faith. Because when I talked about the day of tabernacles over a year ago, I really thought, ah, we are close. Amen. But now we are actually at a time when across the nations, nations have decided this disease has been controlled enough to live with it. Amen. And so they are opening up for people to meet everywhere. So in every country where we are as a revival, there is freedom to meet. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. And to have church. Praise God. And you see, I want you to understand that one of the things that has been demanded and tested in this period has been faithfulness. What is it? I often think of Jesus saying, who then is the faithful servant? Who when the master leaves him to the commission to feed other servants will do what it takes. Say hallelujah. In the season of COVID where we are to get the word of God in these ways which wanted innovation and which wanted effort and diligence. Amen. And also faithfulness when they are not being watched. There are some shepherds who proved to fail the test. Amen. Who showed that, uh, no, uh, no, this is too difficult. We had people talk about data is hard. Gathering people like this and so forth. But let me tell you, if you were like that and you do not have good facilities for having services online and didn't make efforts for people to be in the stream, it's nothing but unfaithfulness. Amen. It's important. The Bible says it is required of a steward that a man be found what? Faithful. Say hallelujah. You see, but you see, there are others who have been faithful. Praise God. Hallelujah. Faithfully arranging the gatherings, faithfully getting the people online. You know, we've even entered conventions online, everything online. Praise God. Youth fests online and some servants of God were really faithful. Amen. And worked hard that this word of God may be heard. Not a grumbling, nothing. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But faithfulness. And we applaud you. Let's clap hands for the faithful people. <laughs> Say hallelujah. Ah, come on, clap hands better. But also you as a child of God, you've been faithful to be following and to be in the services online. Praise God. That's the test that God wanted. The test to see that you by yourself, praise God, would continue to be there in the house of God and do the things that are required to vision to be built and for us to walk with God. Say, say hallelujah. And so the 10th of April is coming, praise God. 
if you have been unfaithful, well, it's time to get faithful in a hurry. Because the technology is not going to reduce, it is going to increase. Somebody say hallelujah. On the 10th of April, we are going to have a worldwide service. Hallelujah. Which will be conducting here from Baku. Hallelujah. In uh, good to Zimbabwe. Hallelujah. To venues of our churches all over the world which have always been either the building where you have been meeting, the place where you had assigned before that you should meet. Some will be places where you will arrange because some uh, uh, know where to meet anymore. Say hallelujah. But make sure by the 10th of April, the local church where you are, praise God, has a place to meet continually. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. As we go forward, praise God. And that in that place, make sure that you gather God's people in your locality, praise God, in the local church. I trust that you've been working even though uh, meetings uh, which at a large scale were not allowed, I'm sure you heeded my voice that we should build home groups. Say hallelujah. Now it's time to say to the home groups, come together. On Sunday we shall have a service. Hallelujah. And to be preparing for it. And that's what you must do even after we finish this. Say hallelujah. Prepare that your church may get into the mode of meeting again. Hallelujah. But on that day, that service, I also want not only that you should be following and being led from Baku, but that will also get to an interactive point, say hallelujah, where from each church we can speak, praise God, back to Baku, say hallelujah, and say, hey, yeah, we are here, here in Angola, praise God. We are here, here in Francistown. We are here uh, in, 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 in Hubabis, say hallelujah, or Windhoek. We are here in London or in Melbourne or in Adelaide. All around the world, say hallelujah. And for that technology, which is called Zoom, praise God. It's very simple. It's just an app you get. And it works on the same things, either on the phones or on the laptops or computers. You can project it on the big TV screens, praise God. We can simply be having the screen here showing the different gatherings in different places. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. And we want you to be on Zoom on that service. Say hallelujah. So let's get ready. Praise God. And let's prepare and let's make sure that we got the technology right where we are. The giant screen, the Wi-Fi, the Zoom up, and also good connected PA to the system. Please do not be struggling with the connectivity when the service has started. Say hallelujah. When you are doing these things electronically, you prepare and you do what we call a dry run. Amen. In other words, on a Saturday evening or something, be set things up, amen, and actually test that it is working, praise God, that you are receiving and that you can be on Zoom and actually have an active system, praise God, and that your PA and your other things are working properly, so that on Sunday, Satan does not have opportunity, say hallelujah of your carelessness or lack of responsibility in setting up the technology. Say hallelujah. So let's work on the technology and make sure that we are ready. Praise God. And make sure that we are ready on that day to actually let the tabernacle or the church where you are be seen and be a witness that the church triumphant, the family of God is alive and well. Ah, clap your hands unto the Lord. Doesn't matter what shakings. Do you know in Hebrews 12 it says, say hallelujah. Shaking denotes the shaking of things that can be removed. So that the things which cannot be shaken may remain. So if you, it, it, it got broken, it collapsed, it ended. There was something wrong with it. When God was shaking, he only wanted rubbish to go. He wanted the solid thing to remain. So I believe God that solid people, solid servants of God, solid local churches are the ones that now stand. Somebody say hallelujah. And for you, the day of tabernacles, get, get, get ready for it. Say hallelujah. If you don't know anything about these technologies, it's easy. They are not difficult. Learn about them. Say hallelujah. 
There should be people around you that know, but if not, get in touch with us. We'll help you. Amen. And we'll take you through how you can make sure that you are set up for the day of Tabernacles. Say hallelujah. Praise God. So that is our preparation. Number one, hallelujah. Apart from the day of salvation, but the second gathering, one of the purposes of having the day of Tabernacles, hallelujah, on the 10th of April is simply because the preaching of the cross is the following week. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. That same week, from the 14th, for four, even four days later, praise God, we will be having the preaching of the cross. Hallelujah. In Harare International Conference Center. In Harare, Zimbabwe. Praise God. And on the day of Tabernacles, one of the things you must do with your people, but which you must already start doing now, if you have not already started, is mobilize your people to come to camp. Say hallelujah. Again, the convention this year of the preaching of the cross is the first physical one in two or three years. Somebody say hallelujah. And uh, the preaching of the cross, we always do it in uh, Arare. Hallelujah. So I want you also to get ready. I need you to really travel from all over the world. Amen. The borders are open. Hallelujah. Uh, the borders are open. In Zimbabwe now, they don't even require you to have a COVID certificate when you come. They want you to just show that you are vaccinated at the borders. Amen. So get yourself ready to come from across the borders. Get yourself ready to come from all over Zimbabwe itself as well. Say hallelujah. We want to just be together for the preaching of the cross. And the Lord is going to work. But we, you know that as a leader and also as a child of God, we have got zeal for the work of God. When the revival was coming up, the people who made this group revival grow were excited. People who were saying, let's go to camp. You understand? And we're stirring up zeal and passion. Say hallelujah. In people and they're looking forward. And God does not despise that. When you have expectation like that, God will always meet you. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. And it generated a critical mass of faith consistently over the past years. Praise God. How many of you look, look forward to the preaching of the cross? Can I see your hand here today? Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. It is that looking forward, that expectancy, praise God, that God sees, praise God, and God is going to bless it, praise God, and bless us in it. Now, the preaching of the cross, apart from getting the physical body to come there, praise God, has other responsibilities. These again are responsibilities I don't want you to ignore. Don't be a hearer only deceiving yourself. I say to you that, number one, every one of our local churches, hear that, servants of God, hear it twice. Raise money from the members of the local church. Say hallelujah. That is going to be a contribution of your local church to the preaching of the cross. With a budget of about 50,000 American dollars, hallelujah. It cannot be made by passing a, a basket around the camp, praise God. So I want you to do that and to say that the bigger churches, you can get $5,000, you can get $3,000. The smaller churches, $1,000 or $500. When we have got the zeal, we can do it, Amen. One young man wanting to get married can raise you 20,000 easy. Amen. But I want you to understand, let's have zeal for the house of God. Praise God. But number two, each one of us has got the responsibility to pay camp fees. Let's say camp fees. In other words, that's your own personal contribution that you put in. Hallelujah. To say, I don't want to be there the way at the camp as a poacher. Praise God. Everything we used to do at the camp costs money. The microphone costs money. The Wi-Fi costs money. The PA costs, everything costs money. Say hallelujah. The place where we are is expensive and posh. Amen. And when you put in your camp fees, you pay a small portion. That helps us into those expenses. Amen. Our basic camp fee for everybody, try to find a hundred US dollars. Say hallelujah. Or not try to find, get a hundred US dollars. Well, there are certain reductions for... Uh, the less well to do, like your fifty dollars and the twenty-five for the children, say hallelujah. But basically, all of us let's find the hundred dollars and pay that camp fees. It's overdue now. It should be getting uh, the local church should be, be, be having it already collected now. But I also say to you that our leaders as well, all our pastors, all our ministers, 
all our elders, all our home group leaders, quite, you call yourself a leader in any capacity, say hallelujah. By now, leaders, you should have paid your camp fees, say hallelujah. If we did that and we were faithful, it would actually provide a good foundation for the beginnings of the camp, say hallelujah. So I want you to take note of that. It's not only the gathering that's important, the money is important. But beyond the money and the gathering, let me also say prayer is important. Hallelujah. What is important? Prayer. We can gather, we can uh, you know, uh, uh, conglomerate ourselves, we can come and be there, but unless the Lord builds a house, say hallelujah, those that are building it are building it in vain. Every time we have a convention or a gathering, including the day of tabernacles, I always ask the Lord for it as if I was asking for a pair of shoes. You understand? Amen. I actually say to the Lord, please give us a preaching of the cross. Amen. Do you understand that? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a difference between things you conjure and plan and think up and things which are day or data. Amen. Amen. Can you say day or data? Day or data simply means given by God. Say hallelujah. We want camps and gatherings which are set up by the Lord himself. Granted to us in the heavens. Praise God. And so whatever we have mentioned, when we do pray today, cry to God, give us a day of tabernacles. Say hallelujah. Give us a gathering. Hallelujah. Unto you that comes from you. Give us a preaching of the cross that comes from you. When it is given by God, the power will be there. Say hallelujah. The grace and the miracles will be there. Praise God. When it is of people, there will be so many things and things and complications of things of people. But we want, hallelujah. That's why we keep pray, pray, praying for our gatherings of Isaiah chapter 60. Hallelujah. God actually made us a promise of gathering. Oh, come on, say to your neighbor, hey, over there. Understand, Understand. Believe, believe, and claim God's promise, and claim God's promise. Of, gatherings. of gatherings. Isaiah 6 says, lift up your eyes down that, that and see. Oh, they gather themselves together. They come to you. Hallelujah. God actually promises us that it will cause people to come. Say hallelujah. And as they come and are gathered unto him, he will also bring his workings. Praise God. In that place. So the most important thing by far in all I'm talking about is prayer. What is it? Prayer. Talking to God about it. According to his word. And please don't leave that prayer to the day when we say let's gather together. We are fasting this Wednesday. By the way we are fasting this Wednesday to pray both for the convention, for the preaching of the cross, the day of tabernacles, and we are also praying for the day of salvation. Someone say hallelujah. But make it also a part of your daily prayer. You what? When you pray day by day, talk to God about these gatherings. Praise God. Ask the Lord, according to the way you've heard us praying, and other ways you'll be inspired by the Spirit of God. Praise God. And it's that moment of prayer that brings the waking of God to us. Can somebody say hallelujah? Let me conclude by reading a number of scriptures for you. Praise God. But I want to really tell you, prepare. Come on, say to your neighbor, hey, over there. It is time to prepare for the day of tabernacles. I want to just take you through a couple of verses. Go to the book of Isaiah. Apart from what we've already read, that the Lord is actually saying, hey, don't forsake your assembling together. Praise God. It's very important as the day of the Lord draws near. Hallelujah. Amen. That you encourage and provoke one another. Praise God. Because that's what God's idea was from the beginning. Two are better than one. Praise God. That's why he's building a church, not an individual. A gathering of people. Isaiah chapter uh, uh, 2. Say hallelujah. Uh, this one. Number one, the day of tabernacles. And that's what we are specially focusing on today. Say hallelujah. The way that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem... It shall come to pass that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established. Shall be what? 
Establish the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. These are promises. What are they? Promises of establishment. Promises of a flow of all nations. Praise God. As we pray, let's claim those promises. Many people shall say, come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the house of the Lord, to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Israel, of Jacob. He will teach us of his ways. We will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law in the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Somebody say hallelujah. Now there is a promise. Go to Isaiah chapter 4 again. And this is where you actually see the word itself, tabernacle. The word tabernacle means a tent. Praise God. It is in the vision that God gave us in Isaiah 54. Hallelujah. That he says to the desolate woman who is being told shall have more children than those who came before you. Enlarge the place of thy tabernacle. I say hallelujah. The place where you are going to gather the children. Hallelujah. The people that are born again so that they can become the church and not just a crowd of scattered people. Hallelujah. But God makes a promise in verse uh, 5 of the same chapter, Isaiah 4. And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon the assemblies. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Where you are, it's a dwelling place of Zion. It's an assembly. Praise God. And there is something that says the Lord will create upon that place. A cloud and smoke by day. Shining of a flaming fire by night. For upon all the glory shall be a defense. Say hallelujah. When you are gathering there, we don't want just a gathering of people that they were people. Amen. Amen. There must be a difference between a burial society and the church. You understand what I'm saying today? Amen. The glory of God must be there. Cry to the Lord locally where you are. When we gather in this place, Lord, be there. Be present with us on the day of Tabernacles. Let your glory be manifested. And then the most simple promise, most test, hallelujah, is in verse 6. Let's shout, say, and there shall be a tabernacle. Say, there shall be a day of tabernacles. Because the word of God says, there shall be a tabernacle. So there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat and for a place of refuge and for a covered from the storm and from the rain. Can somebody say hallelujah? So God made that promise and when God promises, it will come to pass. Please do understand that this gathering of people unto the Lord, they are not there because we've been clever or good. Say hallelujah. They are there because that's what Jesus died for. Are we together? People will gather because the Son of God was sent by God to shed his blood. Praise God. And because of that blood, certain scattering of people is defeated. Praise God. You know, if you are going to be in any way saying, I only be there to drag or something in you, whatever you look at, you may think it's your weakness, you may think it's your what. It doesn't matter. You are cooperating with Satan. Amen. Satan wants a scattering. Say hallelujah. But God, Jesus died to defeat that desire of Satan. Say hallelujah. To buy us back from that power of scattering. Say hallelujah. The Bible says he would die to gather into one. To what? To, to do what? God's people that were scattered abroad to gather them into one. Say hallelujah. And it says also, you that were afar off. Hallelujah. You are brought together and made near by the blood of Jesus. Say Hallelujah. So you have to understand that the promise there shall be a tabernacle is based on work that God himself did. Say hallelujah. Arrangement that God himself made for his son to defeat certain so that may be, there may be gatherings. I want you to go to that blood. Say hallelujah. To the place of spiritual authority. Praise God. Because it works in every context as it was that when he shed his blood, there was a scattering. The spirit continues. It's the same spirit that will give you a thousand excuses why you cannot gather on the day of tabernacles where you are. Don't fool yourself that it's circumstances, it's a data, it's this, it's this. No, 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 no. It's that same spirit of scattering. Say hallelujah. To defeat all the obstacles, go to the blood of Jesus. Say hallelujah. And say all these things are defeated 
by the blood of Jesus. Praise God. And break that power. Praise God. Now, there's one last thought I want you to see. Somebody say hallelujah. And for that, let's go to the book of Psalms. Praise God. It's a plea that is already made where we have read. Hallelujah. Hey, don't forsake gathering together. Psalms 84 says, How amiable are thy tabernacles? Let's all say, How amiable? How lovable are thy tabernacles, O Lord? My soul longeth, yea, even faints for the cause of the Lord. My heart and flesh cries out for the living God. The sparrow has found a house and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young, even your altars, O Lord, all of us, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They will still be still praising you. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee and whose heart are the ways of them. Who pass through the valley of Baca make it a well. The rain also fills the pool. Let's say it together, they go from strength to strength. Every one of them uh, in Zion, in the tabernacles, appears before the Lord. Now he says, O Lord of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Salah. Behold, O God, our shield. Look upon the face of thine anointed. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory and no good thing will he withhold with all from them that walk uprightly. O Lord, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. Can somebody say hallelujah? hallelujah. Let's end it with uh, the African uh, uh, prophetic book, Zephaniah. Say hallelujah. What's happening in the last days is God raises his people to bring his offering from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Praise God. In the last days. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want you to see the promise here in Zephaniah chapter 3. Let it make it part of your prayers. 14, verse 14, sing. Daughter of Zion, shout Israel. Be glad, rejoice with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away your judgments. He has cast out your enemy. The king of Israel, even the Lord is in the midst of thee. You shall, see no, you shall not see evil anymore. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, fear thou not. To Zion, let not your hands be slack. Hallelujah. Come on, say to your neighbor, let your hand, not, not your hands be slack. Be strong and work for the gathering of the tabernacles. For the gathering of the day of tabernacles. There's the promise, verse 12, 17. The Lord thy God in the midst of this mighty, I love that scripture. He will save, he will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in his love and will joy over thee with his singing. But now there is a promise I want you to see in verse 18 and focus on it in prayer. Say, I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Say hallelujah. Uh, come on, say sorrowful uh, for the solemn assembly. Somebody say hallelujah. You have to understand that there are two kinds of people. There are people who when the gathering of the Lord is not there, they are sorrowful. They long for it. They desire it. Say hallelujah. It's very, very important. That desire for the house. Hallelujah. When they looked at Jesus, they remembered the saying, zeal for your house has consumed me. Say hallelujah. You see, one of the things in which art, in art which Satan perfected, somebody say hallelujah, is to give you overwhelming feelings which are lies. Do you know what I said? To give you an overwhelming feeling. And you feel it and that's what you are. That's what you want. That's what you think. This is what should be there. I, I, this is, but the whole thing is a lie. The whole thing is a deception. Somebody say hallelujah. Those are the times where we should identify the lie. 
and choose the word of God. Come on, say to your neighbor, identify the lie. And choose the word of God. You see, one of the things that Satan has been generating over the past two years, hallelujah, is an apathy, a coldness, even a not wanting, hallelujah, the gathering of the house of God. There are people who, when the gathering stopped and were saying, you can't gather in church anymore, the spirit of God has been working before, but you couldn't do much about it, amen, because people were around you, and inside your heart you said, yeah, that's good. And you should say, it has removed from us. Ratibva, hallelujah. Joginda church. You understand? There are not many people who are sorrowful for the assembly. Amen. But that sorrow for the assembly is what makes you a child of God. A true person with the spirit of God is sorrowful for the assembly. Desirous. Do you understand that? That the gathering should be there. Say hallelujah. And that's why you hear people like uh, David make statements. I was what? Glad. I was what? When they said to me, come. Let's go to the house of the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. And it describes that house. Praise God. You know, one of those scholars that really excited me when I heard it not very too long ago when the bishop was saying, I was glad, very glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord today. I was glad, very glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. I was glad, very glad. Come, let's get up and sing it. To me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Today, I was glad, very glad when they said, To me, let us go.
It's a day of celebration. There should be decorations and flowers and palms everywhere. Somebody say hallelujah. There will be brightness and music and hallelujah. I told you the other day about how our brother Jesus to plant his, when he was taken to heaven in the spirit. He says in there, apart from all the other amazing things he saw was a man who had just arrived. It was a child running around there and saying, I made it, I made it. Hallelujah. You know, the day of Tabernacles, we must shout, we made it, we made it, we made it. Because I'm telling you, you will have made it. Say hallelujah. There are people who when it was declared, they were alive, they are no more. Somebody say hallelujah. But you made it. God has preserved you from COVID-19. Say hallelujah. Jonah, when he was in the stomach of the whale, say hallelujah. When he began to sacrifice the sacrifice of thanksgiving, he says, I will look again unto thy house. I will make it into thy house. Somebody say hallelujah. In the promises of night, it says, I will gather, I will what? Those of you who are solemn, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who are sorrowful for the solemn assembly. Who are longing that it may be there. Come on, let's get down on our knees right now. Let's tell God that we long for the day of tabernacles. And we long for that solemn assembly. And if by any means there's any coldness in your heart, I want you to ask God, this is a lie of the devil. I don't want to live under a lie, my father. I desire the gathering. Come on, speak like that to the father. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Again, like I taught you before, let's not matter prayer. This doesn't work in the spirit. Let's lift up our voices to talk to God out with great energy and let your voice be heard in the world of the spirit. The Bible says they lifted up their voice. And so you lift up your own voice also today. My father, in the name of Jesus, I bow before you to thank you, my father. For the coming day of Tabernacles, the 10th of April, my father, where we shall celebrate, oh God, that you may help us and give us grace to make it, my father. My father, in my heart, oh God, there's a desire for that day, my father. And I pray, oh God, that you will give us that day in this African revival, oh God. It's not just a day of wishful thinking, oh God. It is you who made a promise. 
and you said, I will gather those of you who are, of you who are sorrowful for that assembly. My father, we power one is because we are sorrowful, we are burdened. We want that assembly to come, my father. Yes, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. And our joy will be on that day when it will be said, let us go to the different gatherings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, let's claim the promise there shall be a tabernacle. Therefore, my father, we claim that promise. You said there shall be a tabernacle where your glory will be, my father. Yes, a, a cloud of smoke by day. Yes, oh God, and a pillar of fire by night, my father. And upon all the glory shall be a defense, heavenly father. My father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray in the name of Jesus and lift up my voice today, my father, and ask you in the name of Jesus, heavenly father, that you fulfill that promise, my father. Give us the day of tabernacle, my father. Yes, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in every nation, oh God, here in Zimbabwe, oh God, all over this, these towns and villages, all over Southern Africa and Africa, in Australia, in the United Kingdom, in Europe, in Russia, in America. Of Jesus Christ, your presence, oh God, will be working mightily on that day, and that glory will be upon that day, my Father. My Father, we commit ourselves, oh God, that we we'll prepare for that day, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And oh God, we we'll strive and work, oh God, because you said on that day, it shall be said, let not your hands be slack. Yes, we pledge that our hands are not going to be slack, my Father. But we'll work, oh God, to bring the material things, the technological things, uh, to invite the people, my Father, to gather and to mobilize your people, my Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, my Father, we pray, oh God, in Jesus' name. Uh, yes, in Jesus' name. Uh, but above all, come on, let us pray that the Lord will be in the midst of us. And not only for the day of tabernacles, but also for the preaching of the cross. Yes, as we bow our knees, Heavenly Father, we also now say of that day of tabernacles, let it be said, the Lord our God in the midst of us is mighty. Be in the midst of us, save. Rejoice over us. Touch us, O oh God, and comfort Zion, my Father. And show us your great presence, O oh God. Be in the midst of us, O oh God. And cause us to see your hand, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, gather, 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 gather. Gather, O oh Lord. You said you will gather those of us. Yes, O oh God, who are sorrowful for the solemn assembly. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, my Father. Gather, 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 gather. Let there be a gathering, my Father. Let there be a working on hearts. Let there be a working on minds. And let there be a working of the Lord, O oh God. That the day will be a, great, a day of great glory, O oh God. A day of great salvation, O oh God. And a day of the mighty working of the Lord. Come on, let's get up to our feet right now. And I want you to point your finger into the spirit. We want to bind Satan above all the spirit of scattering. Let's cast out that spirit and the spirit of apathy and coldness of a heart. Satan, we bind you in the name of Jesus. We disable you in the name of Jesus. Over and concerning the day of tabernacles. That gathering will be there. Because it was won by the blood of Jesus. Yes, that we who are sometimes are far off from one another. We are drawn together by the blood of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We are made nigh by the blood of Jesus. By that blood he is gathering into one. God's people that were scattered abroad. In Jesus name. In this time of COVID-19, my father, there was a scattering. And we come to you and we say, because of the blood of the Lamb now, let there be a gathering. Come on, speak to the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, let there be a gathering. Holy Spirit, let there be a gathering. Let there be a working. Yes, of the Spirit of God because of the power of the blood. Let there be a gathering. In the name of the Lord Jesus, even for the camp itself, Holy Spirit, let there be a gathering in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on for a few moments, speak in tongues. Come on, speak in tongues. Employ the language of power. Just employ the language of power. Oh, Yakamaruzo. 
Shikari kaba ba 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 shaba. Bobo raba ba 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 shaba. The ba ba raba tari ba 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 shaba. Shia kaba bo re ba 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 shaba. Shia wolo wolo ba 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 sha. Aya kora ba ba shika ba ba. Ba 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 shaba ba. Mari komo ro ba ba shawo re ba ba ba. Shika bo bo re kaba shara. Come on, speak in tongues in the name of Jesus. Now just declare the blood of Jesus. Sprinkle the blood of Jesus with your lips. Yes, we pray the blood of Christ. Throughout this world of our day of tabernacles. By the spring of the benefits that come from the blood of Jesus. There shall be a gathering. There shall be provision. There shall be safety. There shall be workings of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, let's raise our hands. If Anaya says, uh, the Lord of God in the midst of you is mighty. He will rejoice. He will save. Let's cry to God and say, on the day of Tabernacles, be in the midst of us and save, heal, deliver, do mighty works. Come on, let's speak like that in the name of Jesus. On that day of Tabernacles, as you gather us, be mighty in the name of Jesus among us. Even in the prison of the cross, be mighty in the midst of us. As you gather us, save, oh God. Heal, oh God. Deliver, oh God. Work, mighty work, heavenly Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus, cause us to see, oh God, a mighty work of the Most High. In the name of Jesus, we receive it, heavenly Father. God, you are able. God, you are worthy. And we magnify your name, oh God. And we give you praise, oh God. And we give you honor, oh God. Lord, our God, in the midst of us, you are mighty, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, uh, one more time, just speak in tongues right now. Just speak in tongues. Okay. I just conclude by saying to you, come on, this scripture, come on, say, you know, that, you know, that, old, that, that old priest Caiaphas says, one man should die for your people, for the people. Come on, say, Jesus died. Jesus died. Not for that people only, but to gather into one all God's people that were scattered abroad. You may have stumbled on this broadcast. Hallelujah. And wondered what all this gathering, gathering tabernacle is all about. There is one called Jesus, the Son of God. Who, because Satan had scattered us from our Father, God, through sin, and was tormenting us with all his oppressions, he shed his blood to defeat Satan. Hallelujah. Punished for us that we may be forgiven, but also released the power that will be brought together to be the church. Say hallelujah. The people of God, say hallelujah. And I want you to understand for that power, Hallelujah. To affect you. Because please, God does not want you to walk alone. He wants you to walk as a part of his tabernacle. To walk with the people of God. We are going to heaven together. Somebody say hallelujah. You must receive that gathering power of Jesus by receiving him into your own heart and letting him save you. Come on, let's put our hands on our hearts and help someone that does not know Jesus to receive him. Raise your, raise your right hand to God and say, dear Lord Jesus, sir, I don't want to be a part of the scattering of Satan who scattered me from, from people that belong to you and from you through sin. But I know that Jesus died on the cross and you shed your blood that my sins may be forgiven and that Satan's power to scatter me may be defeated. And you invited me to come to you and receive you so that I may become part of your people. So today I've come to receive you, Jesus. In the work you did, that I may be gathered to your house. I'm sorry about my sins. I repent from them. And I ask you, Jesus, Son of God, come into my heart right now. Forgive all my sins. Wash me clean with your blood. Gather me to your people. From today, put your spirit in my heart. Change and make me alive inside. Let me be born again. I receive that forgiveness and salvation. 
and above all, I'm yours. I belong to the gathering of your people. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, raise your hands and say, thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you for gathering me to your people. Come on, come on, lift your voice. Don't matter. Don't whisper it, but speak it with boldness. Thank you for the washing of the blood of the cross. In Jesus' name, I receive that salvation. And I receive that washing. While you are talking like that, just tell me, Lord, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Because it is the Spirit that draws us together. And gives us power to be bound to one another. And to continue in righteousness. And in the workings and miracles of God. And Jesus said, the Father gives the Holy Spirit to those who ask. So tell him, give me, Father, fill me with the Holy Spirit. The Spirit that gathers heavenly Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, receive Receive ye the Holy Ghost and be filled to the Holy Spirit. And now raise your hands and say, Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. Tell him I receive the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. I receive the Holy Spirit right now. Ah, everybody open your mouth and move your lips and your tongue and your voice. But don't speak language you understand. Speak words and sounds you do not understand. They are not nonsense. The Holy Spirit is giving you utterance, He's making sure that those words are words of prayer. And praise in the Holy Spirit. I call it the language of power. Jesus said in my name is not speaking in other tongues. Gathered at Pentecost. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. They began to speak in other tongues. The Holy Spirit gave them utterance. Now church, let's raise our hands. Just thank God for the gathering. Come and say God, God, the gathering of the day of tabernacles. The gathering of the preaching of the cross. Even the gathering of the day of salvation this coming Thursday. Thank you Lord that you have given it to us, oh God. And we are going to see it and we are working for it. It is your doing, oh God, that you may be glorified in Jesus' name. Uh, let's clap our hands unto the Lord. As we give our offering today, say hallelujah. Uh, we're going to sing a song that simply invites the Lord to come to us. How many of you want the Lord to come to us on the day of the tabernacle? Say hallelujah. Take some good money. Let's give an offering. You can give into the numbers you see also on the screen. Either phone or transfer. Say hallelujah. Uh, but this guide is there on the screen about how you can give in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, every giver. Today, my Father, there be a grace, hallelujah, that will cause a garden of wealth to their lives because they give and thank you for being with us as they will continue, oh God, in the different places of the tabernacles, my Father. Let there be a grace and a wisdom that comes from you, my Father, that that day will be a day of great celebration and glory because of the wisdom that you give your people, oh God, to, in the, to, to go organize that gathering, my Father. Provide, Heavenly Father, but above all, let there be a desire and a cry in the hearts of your people for the day of tabernacles. In Jesus' name, say amen. As we sing, let's give this offering. Come to us, come to us, O King of Jerusalem. Come to us, come to us, O Lord of Zion and bless. Come to us, come to us, O King of Jerusalem. Come to us, come to us.
of the day of tabernacles and after that let's just continue where we are locally to prepare for the day of tabernacles with our leaders over to you with the promo make this Thursday 31st of March 2022 your Day of Salvation on the African Revival Channel on this link. On Facebook. At these times, 6 p.m. Central African Time, Johannesburg, Harare. 4 p.m. British Standard Time, London. 3 a.m. AEDT, Melbourne, Australia. 12 p.m. Eastern New York. Here, Andrew Taunashe, a man of God who has helped thousands around the world come to their own day of salvation through his anointed preaching of the old time gospel of Jesus Christ. It's time for your own personal experience of the power, love and reality of Jesus Christ. The saving and life changing power of Christ is real. The healing and delivering power of Christ is real. The Lord says, Behold, now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Pass this link to as many people as you can. Help them to experience their own day of salvation. For inquiries, plus 263-772-325-797. Email awwwitness at icloud.com. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, forever. Son, oh, if I choose to believe in son, my papa gonna give us the everlasting life. Oh. 